Just a quick reminder guys, I'm doing a $20 value giveaway on my channel currently, and that was supposed to end today, but because I've had lots of issues putting up videos over the past two weeks because my Xbox hasn't been working, and some of my re recording equipment had to be replaced, I'm going to be extending that giveaway for one week from today. And all you gotta do to enter is be a subscriber and go to the giveaway video and leave a comment on it. So getting into the video now, over the last few years the graphics in Call of Duty have significantly improved. And the important thing there is that now light sources and shadows are consistently and properly rendered. So what does this mean for us? Well, we can start paying attention to shadows and light sources to use that to our advantage to gain some information on where enemy players are. So there's tons of different ways that you can pay attention to shadows and get some information, and I'm going to show you guys a few examples here. So in this first one, I start off this game and run towards the right side of the map, and I start to check down that first pathway towards that train type thing, but I just barely catch a glimpse of an enemy player's shadow being cast near the underpass of the bridge. And because I noticed that shadow movement, I was able to prepare for that gunfight a little earlier, and that led me to getting a kill. And one thing that's important to note here is the direction that the shadow was cast. So we could see that the shadow, just by looking at it, we know that the shadow was cast to the right of the player, so we know that the enemy must be to the left of that shadow. For example, if the enemy was on the other side of the bridge and they were running out of our field of view, we wouldn't have been able to see the shadow because it would have been cast to the right and it would have been out of our view as well. And that's just something that you should pay attention to, the direction of the shadow so you can get some more information. And that's a little more important in the second clip here. So in this clip here, I'm standing in a central part of the map and I'm looking at this red wall and I notice that the wall on the left is casting a shadow on the red wall. So we know that the light source is on the left and thus shadows will be cast towards the right. So because of that, I also know that if an enemy player is to jump up on the far side of that red wall, because of the way the light source is, because I notice it on the wall, their shadow is going to be cast to the right as well. That means that if they start coming towards me on the red wall, their shadow is going to be cast in front of them essentially. So I'm going to see their shadow first before I see their player. And because I know that and I was suspicious that an enemy player was going to be coming, and I stare at that area where I would see a shadow, and sure enough, I do see a shadow before I see the player. So that allows me to get a kill on that player before they even knew what was happening. So again, just a few things we can learn from paying attention to shadows. One is to understand where the light is coming from on each map, and what direction the shadows are going to be cast in. That way, when you see shadows, you're going to know where the enemy player is just based on the shadow, you know, what direction it is. And another thing you can learn is that you have to pay attention to the direction that your shadow is being cast in, so that you don't reveal yourself to enemy players without knowing. So imagine you were on the flip side of the second clip, and you saw that the shadows were being cast in the direction where I was standing, then you would know that that would probably be a bad way to rush in, because someone might be able to pick up that shadow, and essentially know you're coming before you're actually there, and be prepared to kill you. So that's it for this video guys, just a few ways you can use shadows to your advantage, to get some more information on the enemy, and that you gotta pay attention to them yourself, so that you die less. So I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. Don't forget to enter the giveaway, guys. It's really simple. All you got to do is be subscribed and comment on that giveaway video. And so far, not too many people have entered, so your chances of winning that $20 value are pretty good. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all in the next video.